steed, which also makes it that Theomard is always on on a spot where he can always fight. And that's how you play it. The Hatsu, that's how you play the hyper carry Leomord. Obviously, your late game potential is not as good as something like a Ling or a Claude, but your mid game is equally good. So you're, it's, it's, it's actually like a Lancelot, but with a horse and the Thorn Rose is on a straight circle. Oh, sorry, straight <laughs> square, rectangle, I mean. A straight circle. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. That just uh, I laugh because I'm that... gonna show you a straight circle, no, man. I, I laugh. I had some... No, 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 no. I laugh because that brought back memories from uh, yeah, uh, from high school where there was a that we had a teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Form, it's either form a straight line or form a circle, and she was like, form yeah. a straight circle. Straight circle. Yeah, yeah. We created an oblong, yeah. an oblique. Yeah, yeah. Because of how badly you want to follow your teacher, right? <laughs> no, just to. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just to mock. Make... <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Don't even attempt to show me a straight circle. Man, I will. There. <laughs> I will do a Google search right now <laughs> for a straight circle. Nothing. <laughs> just gonna show you what. Honestly, I'm just gonna show you a rest of bar in Manila. <laughs> that no, says straight circle. No, no, that's that's a different thing. That's a different thing, and it's a different thing. <laughs> Let's just hop back into the show. <laughs> <laughs> the is gonna be on the blue side. Very aggressive uh, fight here over the top side. Uh, Sink, did he actually? Oh no, he did not try to go for. Oh, he's about to go for the invade there, but. Yeah. Good call by Aura to stop the initial invade from coming in. Sync looking that... in for an opportunity to go for the steal. Ooh. Will not oh, be close. able to steal it. So close. Sync now only one, one HP bar. He has to be careful now. And the Kufra actually blocks them in here. So I just want to comment on the fact that there was an invade that Sync tried for the Masha. This is the... I'd, uh, I'd like to attribute it as one of the big openings. Now, openers, if you're playing the Masha, you go for the orange the invade, yeah. as I call it. But knowing that the Aura PH back when they were called Sun Sparks, they were the gods of invasion, as I like to call them in the Philippines. And I guess that if you're the god of invasion, you cannot be invaded so easily. Nice jump coming out from Lumia Savio, oh. but in comes the Revitalize. The turnaround coming out from Resurgence. And they are going for the kill on the x Borg. x, -X -Borg is going to be taken out with the ultimate of Yi Sun Shin. The slow is still there even after he flickered out. That's why he was still taken out by um, the Yi Sun Shin. Yeah, you, you've got to attribute that to the... I think we finally figured out the combination for Yi Sunshin here. In order for his ultimate, yeah. uh, his uh, Mountain Breaker oh. to be <laughs> effective, uh, that was a very effective kill <laughs> onto Sync and KZP. Nice revenge by Lumiere Sivamillion. What a Take jump! Of How a, what a jump, man. That was amazing. And. Uh, even me as the caster, I have the bird's eye view of what's going to happen. And I was kind of fo following the movements from uh, Resurgence. And I never really, I, I, I myself, even having a bird's eye vision, was surprised of the jump from uh, JP. And he comes in for more. In comes the uh, ultimate coming out to Phantom Steed. The Kufrag be taken out as the Yisun Chain takes advantage. What an arrow. Really threading the needle in there. But there's not a conversion into a kill as JP thinks that it's not yet time to go. But yeah, going back to the conversation earlier on, the the proper lineup here for the Yi Sun Shin uh, Mountain Breaker, Mountain Shaker, forgot the name, <laughs> uh, to be effective <laughs> is if you have a consistent slow. Because once the ultimate is up, if you are a hero that has mobility, you don't need to worry about the damage output there. But if you have a constant slow, just like uh, uh, Valdir, okay, okay. But wait, while well, that's happening, that is going to be a fight in the pit area. Flickered out, Lumiere saw uh, 
Sylvan <laughs> Rafflesha flickers out. <laughs> JP is going to be forced to flick out as well. That's going to be the turtle secured on their end as well. Oh, no. Mia gets no caught way. by Greed. And once again, this is some playful, playful plays by Aura. Yes, yes, he dashed in. He greets the arrow of Greed and he gets stunned to the face. And uh, we know that that's not going to happen. Oh. All due fairness for the Yi Sun Shin, he felt comfortable because they were already winning the fight. Nice momentum to get some shielding, but he will not survive the ultimate of the Baksha. In comes the damage from the fire missiles, but it's not going to be uh, a problem at all for the Baksha. Able to keep himself alive in there. Nice snag on J JP. It's a Top very eight. good stopper for Missile a farm. Arrow not going to connect. The Rage is going to connect onto uh, Sing. Yeah. Gonna be searing torrents. Gonna be uh, forcing them back, and the HPs are low here. Kilowash dives in. Smart missiles. Oh, to finish the job. KZP is gonna be diving into the fight here. On to Greed. Greed's gonna be able to dash out there without any problems whatsoever. That's gonna be a complete disengage. I like the decision from Kilowash, just flickering in, cause he's he knows that he still has some a uh, little bit more uh, smart missiles in there, so he, he's safe. Now in comes the turnaround. Oathkeeper passive. You can see how much damage it deals. Against that Baksha, something that we have already forgotten. And look at that. They jump in for more. Nice jump from the Kufra as they take another. The help of Greed as well as uh, Lumiere Siva Mion. JP gets himself to a, a very nice spot here in the mid game. Greed uh, might just be opting to go for a bait here. Abyssal Arrow uh, connects onto Basha. The jump by Lumia Sovimio gets the uh, gets the range there. Gets a bouncing ball. No chances of any flickers there from Sync. Yeah. Man, the, you, this is not a Masha that's having a good time. This is 0, 3, and 1. You don't want that to happen if you're the Masha. I mean, if you're not getting the kills or if you're not getting the push, at least don't die if you are Sync. But unfortunately, both is not happening. Now the turtle fight. They go for the last insanity, Mr. Nomad, as the turtle is going to be taken by the X-Borg. Who are they chasing? Arrow flies, hitting onto the Yisen Shin. But that's just an arrow for a retreat, says RPH, as they just back down, respecting the firepower of, of Resurgence. Yeah, Resurgence is... Despite the fact that Resurgence is relatively behind in gold items and EXV, they're... Still a force to be reckoned with. Uh, here goes to the rage connecting onto Sync once again, making sure that all of the uh, rages connect. Flicker in by Sync. Goes for the disarm onto Kilowash. Kilowash goes mm. for the ejection straight under the turret. The turret just out of range. They manage to secure the kill onto Kilowash. That's going to be Leah going down as well with no. the ultimate from Yi Sun Shin. And now no. this is going to be a bad time for Aura as the turret goes down and four members fall down in that top lane engagement. A big stumble coming up for RPH. I don't know, understand why they still fought there. They felt that Lumia and Sivamillion or the Fisha was able will be able to tear the needle and just go to the back line, stun them all up. They were greeted by the Basha on the bush, but what was that? The Masha taken out. Because of that, in comes the maximum. Oh, sorry, it's the max. It's the unstoppable force. And they take out Ethan Shin. The nice peel coming out from RPH. So they have found the better target. It's not the Valir, it's not the Basha, it's definitely the Yi Sun Shin and Masha. Immediately retaliating after those, <laughs> after that four, in, in, uh, initial four kills, I am losing my words in this fight. Sana managed to take down the uh, turret, but deals got dealt a lot of damage there by Rafflesh, and you don't see that every day. Sink yeah. down to his last HP bar after that bit of a scuffle there against Greed. Little arrow not gonna be finding its mark. A little bit of a little bit of a breather, but it's not gonna be enough. Um, wanna give for more? They stun of Santa this time, and they also have the ejector, and there's not a chance for Santa to life steal his way out of that pickle. And now Aura PH will prioritize getting the turtle. KZP the Basha or the rolling stuns of the Hufra. Short range jump from Graflishots. Peculiar, but the bouncing ball fends off any further vision from off from resurgence, and that's RPH getting that turtle space onto created. the left side. That's space created indeed from Kiluwash. So, yeah, it's able to do <gasps> things. Greed. Oh, greed with the arrow managed to uh, survive that last minute flicker in by Sana. I don't think that is uh, 
Wise choice. You are two minutes out of a flicker. That is your only survivability option there, as it sounds. You might, like, well, that. Let's have the corner inside. Oh, That's Greed it. gets spotted out by KZP, and he's finally, finally going to get taken out. KLV, KLV, JQD, Patuti, Uwu is going <laughs> to... Why did I even say who? He's going to try to... Uh, I, I lost my momentum. I'm sorry. Was, uh, you take that away now. You, so, all right. And now Rafisha is going to take us away. Sink receiving so much damage. It's now almost dying. KCP on the back lines though. Nice stun and sets up for a, for a kill now. But the flicker from the Kufra is not going to save himself. A five-man collapse in the middle. With Resurgence. JP having to use the flicker just to run away. Trying to defend the turret will not be successful in doing so. In comes KLVJ, Cutie Patootie. But there's no follow up at all. They tried to defend, but they were far too late. And they're going in one by one. Kiluwash got to spot this uh, Masha. Dealing so much damage Ooh. and actually deletes him from the earth. And they take one. KZP trying to turn away. Arrow is not going to hit the mark, but it's okay. I think that's mission accomplished for Kiluwash. Man, good thing I immediately went to uh, Killer Watch there because I already sensed that Killer Watch was going to go for a killer play in the back lines. Good on him to focus down the Masha because Masha is relatively the problem for now for these guys because of the disarm. The disarm is a huge deal uh, when it comes to uh, team, uh, team fights. The two seconds that you're not able to auto attack, you're gone. Good thing for yeah. Killer Watch to just immediately target him for that. Very nicely done coming out from our cage representatives. It's not yet over though for Resurgence. I still feel that they have a better chance in this game compared to the previous game. All they have to do is to rely on their initiations with the, this Basha. However, it seems like Object is the name of the game for Aura PH. As you can see, the two supports just zoning out and making a space for the rest of the gang to take the Lord. Now, oh, what a nice random scene lining them all up. Catches two, and the Basha now in trouble. Oathkeeper passive makes it sure that Leo Mord is able to execute them, takes their head, and retreats to safety. Man, I said Leo Mord was a niche pick here, and I feel like it only really works properly on the hands of JP. Yeah, that's right. How good is that? They line up perfectly for that Phantom Seed to be so effective. And even when there's the back show, JP wasn't afraid at all. Now, Sync as well as KZP will be responding, which makes this a 5v5 team fight for sure in the middle. But, uh, oh, the jump, double jump. Even though the last insanity is going to be layered properly. No cigar, however, yet for Aura PH. Maybe they're focusing on the turret now, and they will be successful in doing so. Top lane, Joy and able to escape the fangs of death. In comes the ultimate coming out from the Yisun Shin. Barely <laughs> not gonna get any. Yeah. To the million, forced to flicker out of that arrow too. They are respecting oh, the pistol arrows by greed. Looking for another yeah. arrow connection. You're not gonna find the Joy there. KLVJ. Lasting longer in this fight against KZP, longer than expected. Nice ejection out of there, and he still manages to go back. I'm like, no, I'm fighting. And Green manages to take down KZP, and he's gonna be paying the price for that. He's gonna be traded out by Jason. That's gonna be the dive in by JP with the Phantom Steed taking down Leah. And now kill VJ, oh. low on HP, flickers out, no. not safe, but manages what? to get zoned out by the rest of his teammates. Down to one HP bar. No Two players are gonna fall down. It's just gonna be Sadna left alive here in this one v four fight. This menu wave is going to go down without a doubt. Two endless battles on to JP and the Kittle Wash all at the same time. This uh, inhibitor turn on the bottom lane is going to go down. And this has to be the game unless KZP and Sana manage to defend this. They are now poised. They stop. Oh. What a play by Kittle Wash. <laughs> the throwing fireballs, man. And now they have taken Thams. They'll take KZP as well. That's immortality popped, but I'm sure they'll take him down. Now, oh, snowboarding, Yisun Shin gets the joint, but it's quickly punished by the Matador. That is JP. Sink tries to fight one by one. Audition oh, coming up from Resurgence, and all of them, they're getting accepted. The arrow from Greed, the nail blighter, the finisher from Aura PH as they take game number two. My oh my, championship form for Aura PH. Not gonna lie, the most entertaining game that we've had so far. Yeah, that's right. Love it. 
Man, I have to commend Rafflesia there at that uh, last pause moment. As soon as Basha uh, respawned, what Kiel VJ did, uh, not not what what Rafflesia did was he immediately went for the jump in front of Basha's uh, 